Hello. Japan is primarily a civil law country, and the United States is primarily a common law country. Civil law is a form of government whose most prevalent feature is that its core principles are codified into a referable system, which serves as the primary source of law. Common law is the part of English law that is derived from custom and judicial precedent rather than statutes. In other words, it's set by previous judicial cases. These distinctions, however, are not perfect. In the United States, codified law can be found at all jurisdictional levels, and may control the outcome of a dispute. And in Japan, case law precedent offers non-binding guidance that may, in some cases, be persuasive, and may be relied upon if not in conflict with code. Perhaps what is most interesting about the differences between the two legal systems is their evolution. While the US legal system is mostly inherited from the English legal tradition, Japan's is a mixture of several main influences. In the late 1800s, early German civil code was imported by Japan, along with elements of the French civil code as well. After World War II, however, a number of American borrowings appeared, such as the Constitution and laws regarding criminal procedure, labor law, and corporate law. In most recent years, Japan's legal system was updated, including revisions to codes on topics such as civil procedure and bankruptcy. Compared to the United States, Japan has far fewer lawyers per person approximately 1 in 4,000 versus 1 in 250 in the United States. These lawyers are joined by large numbers of other functionaries, however. These include judicial scriveners, who assist in real estate and litigation documentation, administrative scriveners, who are tasked with legal document drafting, in-house legal professionals, who may have specialized in legal topics during their undergraduate education who assist in contract drafting, and civil law notaries who prepare official documentation or notary deeds which authenticate private documents. One of the more well-known laws in Japan are those on censorship. In Japan, Article 21 of the Japanese Constitution guarantees freedom of expression and prohibits formal censorship. What censorship does exist is often carried out through Article 175 of the Criminal Code of Japan. Historically, the law has been interpreted in different ways. Recently, it's been interpreted to mean that all X-rated content must be at least partially censored. However, there have been very few arrests based on this law. In the past, however, it was a different story. As publishing became more popular in the Edo period, the Tokugawa shogunate began to turn to censorship. Initial targets included Christianity, criticism of the shogunate, and information on the activities of the Tokugawa clan. With the Kansei reforms, any material deemed to be distributing the traditional way of life, as well as luxury publications, came under scrutiny. Under the Tempo reforms, printing blocks of erotic literature, as well as the novels of Tamenaga Shunsui and Tanehiko Ryute, were among those seized. Under the Meiji Restoration in 1868, which marked a major political shift in Japan, the government began heavy censorship of Western ideas. Pornography, and any political writings critical of the Emperor of Japan and government, wanting to control the spread of information. Censorship of materials increased from this point, often using ongoing wars to increase police powers and penalties. In 1928, the death penalty was added to the list of punishments deemed acceptable for certain violations. After the surrender of Japan in 1945, the Supreme Commander of the Allied Powers abolished all forms of censorship and controls on freedom of speech, which also integrated into Article 21 of the 1947 Constitution of Japan. However, press censorship remained a reality in the post-war era, especially in matters of pornography and in political matters deemed subversive by the American government during the occupation of Japan. Japanese trial systems are similar to those in America, with a judge, jury, and lawyers. However, if a trial is broadcast on Japanese news, it is illegal for the face and hands slash handcuffs of a convicted person to be shown, as it gives the feel that the person has already been found guilty and, much like in America, the judge and the TV station also have to be careful to only refer to the convict as a suspect. One of the more humorous laws in Japan is this law on obesity. Japan is the land that brought us ancient game sumo wrestling, but it is illegal to be fat there. According to the Metabo law, every man and woman aged 40 and over must not have a waist measuring over than 32 inches and 36 inches respectively. For individuals, there is no penalty or punishment in the law. It's aimed at putting pressure on local governments and companies.